So with the new the new uh, future time frame, it's a little more than 10 years out, right? Year 2025. I think it it conjures up all kinds of imagery of, of what this is. But make no mistake, this is Call of Duty, and it has to be grounded. The kinds of things that are going to be available um, to the soldiers in the battlefields of the future are going to be things that, that we might even have a hard time comprehending today. But make no mistake, they're, they're either on the boards, uh, drawing board at DARPA, or they exist in some other format. And as technology progresses, they'll become available on the battlefield. And you're going to have a lot of new tools and weaponry at your disposal. One of the weapons I shared with you in the, in the level was a sniper rifle that had a couple of, of, of new features that you've never seen in a Call of Duty game. So um, one of the features is an optic that uh, you know uses this millimeter wave technology that exists out there in the world. Now it's in fairly large format um, and it's not anything that you could even remotely consider fitting on an optic, but if you think about 12 years out or so, or 13 years out or so, you could see how that form factor could get smaller. And what does that allow us to do as game designers? Well, that now allows us to see players through certain objects and, and so forth, so campers beware. Um, but, you know, that's only good if you have a way to penetrate some of those objects. And so, how do we come up with a fiction for that, a plausible fiction for that? Well, there is technology out there where you have these electronic charges that can fire off lots of, you know, lots of, lots of uh, bullets, right? So, that could penetrate deeper. So, you, put, you apply that technology to a sniper rifle, um, of course, it's a game balance thing because then it's suddenly a very powerful weapon, but you have to hold down and charge up uh, that sniper rifle and get enough uh, caliber weaponry behind it to, to impact um, the surface so that you can penetrate what you're seeing behind it. In Los Angeles, there's a sequence where you're going to come upon a VTOL that you can actually take over and fly. Um, so you're going to be flying it uh, through Los Angeles and you're going to be taking out the enemy um, and at some point you're going to take off in that VTOL and, 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 and fly it. But not only just fly it, you're going to be um, using all the caliber weaponry on it. You're going to be launching missiles and firing um, the high round caliber um, machine guns that are attached to it. Uh, so you're not, just, you're not just targeting and shooting at something, you're also flying it. But it's done Call of Duty style, it's not a simulation. So you guys should be able to, if you know how to play Call of Duty, you're not going to have a problem piloting these, uh, these futuristic advanced uh, warfighters. You're going to be able to get right into them, and, and it's pretty epic. It, it feels very, um, very intense when you're in there. We have you know, effects and explosions. It's, it's really intense experience. We know that there are people who you know, aren't hardcore, and we know that we have really hardcore fans that we both have to please. So I think you know, the key to that is when you're making a design is to make it both accessible but have depth of, of gameplay and strategy for people so that it's both accessible, which I think regardless of how, you know, how experienced of a gamer you are, you can appreciate that something is just accessible and, and easy to pick up and play. Um, but if it has depth inside the gameplay and there's different strategies that you can take to take on your objectives, I think people who are very experienced really appreciate that and, the, and they're sort of rewarded for their expertise. We're not talking about giving you all the details on multiplayer right now, but uh, suffice to say the team is really pushing on it. We've taken a really good look at pretty much every single one of our systems. We've stripped them down and we're building them back up, whether it's the create a class systems or other